What's up guys and welcome back to GTA Online. It's time to get this club rocking and rolling. Here we go, nightclub setup. Access must be granted by Tony Prince. Please complete the nightclub setup. So we've got staff or equipment. I'm down, let's do it. Here we go, all right. So we gotta get the equipment in, we gotta get some speakers, get everything set up. And then we also have to have some people work in the club as well. And I think these are gonna be two kind of like little missions here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival, Ritual Sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above. But they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party. So get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. All right, boys, here we go. Well... We gotta go get a speaker set on wheels. This is gonna be interesting. I'm sure it's gonna be like a giant truck with speakers all over it, but I'm sure we're also gonna have some, uh, some people try to take us down as we do this. Hopefully it's something that we can do on our own. Hopefully you don't need a crew of bodyguards and stuff with you, but uh, this should be good, man. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe we should, we should hop in a buzzard or something and come in via helicopter and just shoot a bunch of them, but... We'll come in on foot and see see what we got going on. The festival's called Ritual Sacrifice. I we're gonna be dealing with some weird people out here, I think. Let's we'll see what happens. Been good so far. But yeah, man, I'm excited to be back. This is this is good stuff. If you guys missed our first video today, our last one on GTA, make sure you guys go check it out, kind of set the scene. We bought our club. Talk to Gay Tony and, and kind of figured everything out. Now we're in the setup process, and then all of a sudden we're gonna have a brand new business that's running. Should be uh, should be very profitable. Got 1.9 miles left. This thing's kind of pretty far out here. It's gonna be up in the northern part of the desert, I'm sure. Getting off the interstate here. Okay. Hello. Overshot it just a little bit. Let's get it. It's gonna be out here to the right. Only a third of a mile away, boys. I've never been to anything like this, like a Coachella or anything like that. Always thought it would be cool. Just never been. Okay, are these... Wow. Got some big old redneck looking trucks out here lifted up. They're pretty cool, not gonna lie. Got a bunch of tents. This is honestly way fewer people than I expected, but take a look at this. Are you kidding me right now? We're gonna be stealing this thing. There's a DJ and stuff on it too. There's no way this is gonna work. No way we're just gonna be able to grab this thing and head out. Look at this guy just. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's time to take this bad boy. <laughs> See ya! Bring it to the club. Alright, sounds good to me. We got 3.6 miles. And we definitely have some enemies on us. Dude, this thing is raging right now. I'm trying to see if we can turn it off. We cannot. Okay. This is our life now. You can turn off the flashing strobe lights, but you can't turn everything else off. We're gonna keep them on, because why not? <laughs> Could you imagine if you saw this coming down the street at you, dude? That would be so ridiculous. Just a, this is a new definition of a party bus, bro. They need to make one of these in, in like Vegas or something, like you just go down the strip, partying up on top of it. I feel like there'd be a safety concern though. I can't even get around this guy. We're too wide. The stereo set. Alright, so... <laughs> I wasn't sure what was gonna happen there, but it looks like we found out. Uh, anyway, we we definitely had some some enemies when we first took off, but it looks like they're nowhere to be seen in the background now. So we're just, we're gonna keep on doing our thing. 
and hopefully nobody ends up coming behind us. Can we change the, uh, can we change it? Can we go blonde it? There we go. All right. Good stuff. So, it's going to be a, a nice, slow, hopefully uneventful drive back to the club. And, uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. This is so ridiculous. Hold on. Should we hop in, uh, see what it looks like in here? We could turn off the strobing lights to make it a little bit easier to see, but I'm feeling my party pants right now. All right. I'll see you guys once we get back. All right, guys, here we go. We made it back into town. We just took something out. Hopefully it wasn't one of our speakers, dude. These, okay. I was just going to say these things barely fit when they actually don't. <laughs> okay, we're one mile away. We got this. Let's not have this thing fall apart by the time we get there. We can clear that easily. Alright. Okay, we're not getting around this. There's no way we get under this, right? Well, hopefully he didn't want the speakers that were up on the top side because we don't have them anymore. Or those. Okay. Look for you, there's it's only this piece on the side we need. Okay. Whew. My goodness. Hey, that scared me for a minute. Oh my gosh. I uh, I thought I was gonna say that I failed it or something and I was gonna have to turn around and go back. Dude, this thing is taking so long. Oh, there's a car in front of us, I couldn't even see it. There's an old beat up school bus, dude. They've got like hundreds of grand worth of speakers on the side and they can't Put it on a slightly better bus. Right. We made it, fellas. Go in here. We bring it around back. Looks good to me. Alright. There it is. The equipment was delivered to the nightclub. Holy cow. Not the most eventful thing in the world. I, I was hoping to have a couple of people to shoot at. Didn't get any. Okay, we'll start installing these speakers and hope to Moses no one recognized them from the background of countless snapmatic shots of shirtless douchebags in top hats and goggles. Yeah? Now all we need is some staff and we're open. Log on to the computer when you're ready to pick them up. All right, sounds good to me. So... We are gonna head back to our little command station in here. Let's hop on the internets, the interwebs, and uh, we're gonna go get some staff. Looks like we got the okay, Mercedes here, here huh? Go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling. Okay, so we just have to have to go to them, pick them up, and that's it, right? I'm hoping that there's not, I don't know, like, I feel like who else would want a head bartender, you know what I mean? Like, we're not going to have to kidnap them or anything. Maybe we will, I don't know, maybe they're not willing to come with us, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. This guy's right up here. Can we pick him up all in the same car? That's my question. He lives up in our old apartment building. Kind of close to it, at least. Hey, let's get it, baby. So we're stealing a head bouncer from another club. I love it. We're using Gay Tony's car too. We gonna go get the others? This is awesome. I just noticed the license plate. The, 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 the license plate says Prince. Is Marcel on board? He'll handle all security and the whole front of house setup. Used to. One second, Tony. Tony? It's right. great to have him on this coast. 
This place has a lot to live up to. Man, I remember Mason at nine when it was the place. Tony always hooked me up in El Cid. Whew! I didn't mean to cut Tony off. I was just making sure we were going to the the right order. I didn't want to go to like one side of town, then go to the opposite side, and then have to turn around, come back to the other side, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? All right. I would just fly off of this thing, but I feel like that might not be a good idea if we're trying to keep these people alive and keep this car in working order, so. You know what? Send it. Shit, I just ate. <laughs> You're all good, bro. Don't worry about it. Who's out here at the, the beach? Okay. You freaking kidding me? We're moving. Slowly but surely, we're going to get off this thing. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> Apologies, guys. Seriously, though, who's out here just chilling on the beach? I know you. Head bartender. Cool. Let's do it. A little spunky. I like it. Looks like she might make good drinks. Okay. I'm so pumped to be working your bar for you. Whoa, look at this big guy. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. You got Connie, the liquor lady? At the bar, we're keeping it simple. Beer, shots, champagne, of course, and some really top draw whiskeys. This girl does simple better than anyone else in the business. Doing simple really fucking well is an art form. You'll see. All right. I mean, I think we have the right man for the job. It's Tony Prince. Of course I'm in. Hey, how did he get you to leave the gentry? One word. Solomon. <laughs> I feel you. Solomon, huh? All right. So it sounds like we might have a little bit of competition, and I'm sure this competition's not going to be happy that we're taking all their... Assets. And our final piece to the puzzle is going to be right here. You're too far away from him? You're not a cop, are you? <laughs> Great, it's you. Out here smoking weed with his buds. Oh, um, welcome, player. Kind of fool. Room for one more. Good to meet you. What's up? All right. I like how I'm being completely silent the whole time. That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. He can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. Perfect. He's a clever boy. That's cool. So this could be kind of like the so HQ and everything else is Are run through here. Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. We all are. Hey, look. This is it. All right. But yeah, the entire time my character's just not saying anything. <laughs> I'm ready for some DLC where we actually talk, you know what I mean? It'd be cool, you could have like DLC voices to change and, I don't know, be kind of cool. All right, all right, very, very, lift it up, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, come here, look at this, I love it. Galaxy, what do you think? I think it's, it's looking good. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing tracers. I am the opening DJ, get the crowd bumping, get the millennials voice with the wooka 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 wooka. <gasps> Go away! What? Go get me some celebrities for opening night. Put them up in the VIP lounge if you have to, but you will not be DJing! Uh, Ham! My glow stick! Oh. Now, let me show you what we got ready for you. Come downstairs. Now remember, I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity. But if you need my help, anytime, count on me. Now, this place is 
fully operational, huh? I don't do the tax returns, and I don't deal with whatever goes on down here. Now, I'm just a club manager, but if you happen to, say, fill it with some, uh, various products of your illicit businesses, I could probably help you sell them. Hm? All right, all right, now, everything else on the computer over there, and in the office. Shall we head upstairs? Here's our private... Ooh, this looking nice, boy! The computer where you'll run things, and my desk is over here. Hear no evil, see no evil. <laughs> Good, all right, let's go get a quick drinky at the bar. Brave. Brave, mate. Think of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And brave. Ain't it amazing? Hello, Tone. Ah. Sniff. Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby, four shots. Good news. The big European is on the wing. Private, of course. Spared no expense, as you're paying. Well, it was a cheap plane, but whatever. Should we go and pick him up? And when you get back, we shall have ourselves a little party. Yeah. Here's to Galaxy. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you shortly. You all right, Laz? A little fucked up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, everything's in place. That's what I'm talking about. We got the bartender. We got the security. We got the business downstairs. And now it's time to go pick up our DJ. He's coming in from Europe on a private jet. Who we got? Zed? Is it Zed, bro? Is it? I don't know. Oh, Solomon's the name of the D. Oh, okay. I thought Solomon was going to be a competitor. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Solomon's coming to LSIA. Let's get out of there, all right? Let's do it, baby. Should be good. So yeah, Solomon, the fact that he's coming Listen, to DJ this spot know what's about is why people wanted to, to work it. for us. Solomon, our Slavic savior. There will be rhythm, there will be groove, and above all else, there will be feels. No one does emotional like that Balkan beast. Believe! Bring the tears to check, no! <laughs> A two-hour Solomon set's done more for me than ten trips to rehab. And I don't know how long that cat's talking to a head shrinker. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Let's get started. Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear the music. See if it's actually pretty good or not. Hey, look. What are you doing with that place? Galaxy? Proper naughty. About time, too. Los Santos needs some nightlife. I mean, as much as I love hitting the toot with lonely old rich guys and... Hey, hold on. Solly, I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's Mr. Runway? Wait, what? No, he can't be passed out. Not with all them uppers in his system. Get up there and do something. Push some buttons. Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just Dude, press, what? Alice, what you do for a living? Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. Uh, whoa! Sir, that's not making me very proud. Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I, I got it, I got Whatever it. Whatever you press before. All right, okay, cool. Don't press it, okay. Paul Salmon's plane as he attempts to land, press circle to toggle the focus we might be about to lose our of the DJ. camera on the plane. Follow that private jet. Dude, what? Downtown. Head downtown. Solomon, you're gonna need to get it together, old son. Where is the man I love? Cool as a cucumber, while the rest of us are losing it. We're going this way. Getting proper rowdy. That's the Solomon on me right now. The miracle worker, the man who saved my bacon and my soul. Take control, soul. You've got this boy. Lovely, lovely. You up there? Very nice. Now you watch telly, don't you? Streaming, whatever. Then you've seen it done a million times. Grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Good advice. What? Shit, you all right? Oh, Dude, it's kind of hard to tell where we're, now, where we should be going. Do, okay, point the stick again and keep the sky up there, the earth down here. Hey, there we go. Calculated, calculated, boys. Where's that plane at? Check it. He's over Legion Square. 
Easy does it. All right. Easy does it. Mellow vibes. Keep it proper mellow, mate. Fucking chill. Dude, I'm... Monday afternoon, on the beach, recovery mode, dreamscape. I'm having a hard time tracking it, boys. Know what I mean? Now give the pilot a kick, all right? I don't think we should have gotten off the uh, the interstate. We don't want to be on it now, I don't think. We're okay. They've left the city. Get on the freeway. Okay, we do want to be on the freeway. All right, I'm trying to get there, boys. It's not easy. About a manual. The uh. How about I find? Search it. I mean, on your phone. I don't think we should have gotten off the freeway in the airport. Don't get shirt with me, my son. I'm not the one about to crash a plane. I'm trying to help. Dude, I'm so nervous right now. So, so, be smart now. You sure you want to do that? Flying's one thing. Putting it down's another. Solomon? Solomon? Shit in my pocket. The bugger's gonna try and land it. Follow him. Whew. We're okay. I have no clue where the plane is. It's somewhere out in front of us. He's over Bolingbroke Pen, the psycho. He's over the jail. Is that him up in the air over there? Yeah, it is. All right, Shit. we're getting closer. He's almost at Sandy Shores. The we're getting closer. Going for the airfield. Solly is playing a blinder here. Time to cut some quarters, boys. We're good. We're good. This thing isn't really meant for off-roading, but we're going to keep going for it. Oh, gosh. We just saw him going down. Let's get over this hill. Oh, he's got it, dude. Holy shit! He did it! The miracle worker! Let's go pick him up. Calculated. Get on him, mate! Can't just leave him there. Highly calculated. We freaking made it. We we kinda took a wrong turn right off the bat. But we did it. <laughs> Solomon! Dave, where did you find the pilot? Oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. Well, let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. Right, drive up. Drive on. Alright. Now we're gonna have to let's drive him all the, the way back. Car. Show him his digs. Hold on. Yeah, there's a faster way. Let's go this way. You alright, son? To be honest, Dave, that was pretty intense. That's it, big man. What well, doesn't kill you, right? I've never been in a plane crash, I've won there, but I've had some bad trips, me, and I always find a spiritual path. Next time you hire the pilot, see how you like being in a plane crash. He was excited to see you, so you may have overindulged is all. You have to <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna try that again. I uh, I, don't, I just have a knack for finding spots that get me stuck. I thought it was Tony. I don't know. Tony's the looks. This one's the brains. Good to meet you. You must be pretty cool. Coolest cat in town. Genius brain too. Just look at them there, thinking. <laughs> nah, you guys are too kind. Let's have some fun. It's going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. And me too, me old mucker. Me too. All right, boys. We're uh, we're doing big things. We're not getting stuck this time. We're just gonna head back into town, drop them off. You wankers are lucky, right? Let's get this club pop. Dance music culture to begin with. can see it go to shit. London, the state of London, mate. Every decent venue stripped out, turned into a sushi joint. Can't eat a spider roll without staring at some exposed brickwork I chucked up on in the early nineties. My bat suits. Oh. They were some good pills, but Christ alive, did they make me chuck it. Watch out! Okay, we're good. 
meant to. Seriously though, I mean, you guys know throughout the course of this this GTA series, I mean, we're you know 600 or so episodes deep, maybe closer to 500, but. There have been so many times where I've found a way to get like completely stuck where you have to redo the mission. It's so frustrating. Like uh, stuck between a rock and a pole in the middle of the desert. Like what? Oh, that was funny, man. But we're good now. Stay in your lane, cuz. Gonna exit the freeway here. And here we are. Me casa, su casa. They're Kessa. They don't know what they're in for. Come on. Let's do it. Sweet. It took us a couple of tries, but we made it, boys. Good stuff. It also seems like this club location is popping. I've seen a lot of other, like, other players around this area. Somebody else's car is parked out front, so. I think we picked a good spot. Got the spot, got the DJ, got the staff, got the, uh, the equipment. Now it's going to be time to uh, to make things happen. All right, follow me. Right this way. Okay, make way for talent. Celebrity a walking. <laughs> hey, mind how you go, Twinkle Toes. Just down here. Here we go. Very Watch good, out, I'll be. The place is oh, looking baby. great. Come here. Oh. Yeah, sorry my play was delayed. He's a little shaky, but he's gonna be all right. I'm sorry I never met you, but I'm a massive fan. Massive fan? Me too. Uh, Solomon, so PK, Atom. Yo, I've got some serious ED. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. No, 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 EDM, <laughs> EDM. I made a whole USB of tracks that I produced. This is Laszlo. Hi, 10. <laughs> too slow. Come, wait. Come on. Right, shall we? I'm a DJ, too. I, I spend a lot of you know, birthday parties for kids to make extra money. Because uh, I can't always pay my rent because I live in a mansion. I'm a baller. Uh, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm a, I'm a celebrity. People love me. Come on. I love big pretzels like you people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like big pretzels? We've done it. The party. We got the fucking party. We are the fucking party. Excuse me. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And downstairs, fully operational, whatever you want it. Tony! Hey, baby! That's a nice dress. <laughs> the time is class of latex. Let's go! <laughs> well, this is it, boys. Oh, God. Somebody kick him off stage, please. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, at the opening of Galaxy! Yeah, Los Santos has finally figured out how to party again. You're going to join me, DJ Laszlo, in welcoming my very best friend. I discovered him in Ibiza, which is in the Netherlands. The set was amazing. He is starting his first ever residency in the United States in this club. All right? Please, all of you, give it up for the one, the only, Solomon! Let's go, baby! This guy. <laughs> let me know if you want me to MC. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, great. He wants me to beatbox. I'm gonna fucking get laid. I'm gonna be down here with the chicks. Fucking grinding, bro. Molly, bro. Molly! <laughs> Dude, what in the world is is going on? Here we go, baby. Press right to dance. Oh. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> no clue what I'm doing right now, but I love it. I love how I'm like grinding on this dude too. Okay. 
All right. Oh, you can get even like the different angles and stuff, but it's it's time to stop. These kids must be stopped. This is pretty dope, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna come get on this chick. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> right under Laszlo, too. This is great, dude. All right. Anyway, seriously, let's uh, let's head upstairs. Your boy is the owner of the spot. None of y'all better give me any any flack for coming up here. Got all kinds of security all over the place. I love it. All right, I want to see what's going on in our computer here. We just unlocked the Salomon T in our clothing, which is kind of cool. But uh, let's go ahead and access this. So we got zero dollars in the wall safe. Our popularity okay, is low. Welcome to club management for the internet banking age. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Thank you, Dada, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, easy to understand charts, like you're an idiot or an investment banker. For the club, popularity means feet are coming through the door. There's cash in the tills and everyone's happy. For the warehouse, your techs will push your other businesses to generate illicit goods, and they'll all get stockpiled in here, your whole criminal empire under this one roof. The techs do the work buying, stealing, or producing, and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff, offloading illegal product, and bringing in nice, legal, laundered cash. All right, sounds pretty simple. So actually, I think we might be full popularity since we're new, but we've got nightclub jobs, earnings, warehouse sales and earnings. Come through to the nightclub management tab and you'll see some more numbers if that's your kind of thing. But more importantly, you can run promotions for the club by hitting, you guessed it, promote club. The staff, the DJs, me, we'll all be doing everything we can to run a banging night. But to get the buzz, increase popularity, and bring in cash, we'll need to promote it. Run a job and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so those are basically club jobs. If we do this club management mission, we're not going to do that right now. Here's where you book the talent. Any DJs Dave is talking to will show up here. Then you can choose who you want in residence. Solomon's all we've got right now, but from the way the crowds are going for it, he might be all we need. Check back here soon. Okay. Then this is the warehouse page. You'll see any and all of the illegal businesses you own registered here. You'll sign a warehouse tech to the product you want to stockpile, and they'll use your established network to bring that in at no additional cost or effort to you. You've got one tech at the moment, but you can hire additional people for additional products on this page too. Okay, so we could put him on here. And then we could take this guy. I was hoping we were gonna be able to hire a second guy, but I guess we, oh, we, we can hire this guy. Hire him, put him on sporting goods. Nice, we can hire this guy, put him on something else. Okay, cool. And now to the sell page. Your text will get hold of the product, but you've still got to sell it. Either sell one product at a time, or offload all your stock, or if you want to make some real money, top buyers will have specific shopping lists of products, and they'll pay a premium if that whole order is filled. Most of the money goes to you, some goes to the club, of course. All right, sounds good to me, and then upgrades. This is the upgrades page. Improve security or modernize some of the equipment downstairs. Whatever you need to increase productivity. Okay, That's yeah, so... Good luck, and remember, I didn't know any of this was going on. Nightclub could be attacked by enemies. Daily popularity loss, so it sounds like we're gonna have to bring in new DJs and stuff to keep people interested. And then equipment upgrade will improve the effectiveness. So I'm gonna do the equipment upgrade. I'm gonna do the staff upgrade. And I'm gonna do the security upgrade. Okay. A little bit under on money right now, but uh, we're all right. Our popularity is through the roof and um, we're gonna be as effective as others. So really we can run promotion missions to get more people here. Um, we can also hire new DJs and stuff like that. But for right now, our popularity is good. So I'm gonna say that's a job well done, boys. We got a living, breathing, working nightclub here. And uh, I think we, 
I think we head over to our little area up here and just look over our success, dude. This is dope. This is cool. I like it. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I want to see you guys in our next episode. I'm hoping we get a ton of new vehicles and stuff with this DLC. I don't think we have anything yet. I guess we can check real quick. Let me see here. Let's go to Legendary Motorsport. Um, oh, we do. We've already got two. The Dinka Jester Classic and the Ocelot Swinger. Okay. Sweet. So, if you guys want me to check these out, we can definitely make that happen. Drop a like if you're interested in something like that. I'm going to see if we have any of those here. You can buy the Festival Bus and the uh, the Mammoth Patriot, like a stretch limo. Kind of interesting. All right, I don't know. I think I would check out those supercars. I think they'll be kind of fun. So, uh, if you guys want to see that, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.